Right, good afternoon. I'm Matthew Soper here at Hampshire Carnivorous Plants and today I'm going to be constructing a bog garden at the nursery. This is something I've been wanting to do for ages and now we've got the time to do it. It's, uh, it's the ideal time I suppose and here it is. The construction is um, of these sleepers. We've got one on edge under here, another one on top on its side. These are screwed down to connect each other and this gives you somewhere you can actually sit on the edge of the bog garden. It's lined with some felt capillary matting here. This is to stop any uh, stones or, or sharp objects piercing the plastic liner. Now I've just used a very thick PVC black liner. It would have been far better I think with a butyl pond liner. But you don't need to make a, you know, an elaborate construction like this. You can use a sink, like a Belfast sink, or um, uh, a galvanised tin bath, as long as it's lined with a plastic liner. That'll be ideal, so you can make a small bog garden as big as you like. Now, we have had a, a trial here on the nursery, growing the plants outside for four years, which I was very impressed by. Everything survived. A lot of them really thrived. And um, we're hoping to uh, plant this up landscape it a bit unlike the, the trial we'll have some rocks and some bits of bark and hopefully get some moss and sundews growing around the Saracenia so we're really looking forward to it. Right, we've filled the bog with peat we've added rainwater that took quite a long time to, for the peat to soak it up and now we've popped in a few rocks and a few bits of uh, cork bark to sort of add a few little uh, features to make it a bit more interesting and now we're going to start to uh, add the plants or well, what we'll do first is place the plants where we would like them to uh, be uh, planted up in the end so um, we'll start to move a few just using the socks off for this bit I didn't want to leave my wellies on because the line is not that thick I didn't want to run the risk of piercing it so sort of squelching through the wet peat it took us quite a long way in to get here so if I open that up then I'll take one of these We can dress the edges of these a bit later to hide the pot. Quite nice there. I think there's another flower bit in here. This one's sitting a bit proud, I think I might. No, I think that'll be okay. I was going to take it out of its pot, but I think it'll be okay. The peat up there on the edge. Fawn, if you can have one there. Yeah, that'll be ideal. Put that bit here. The rhizome, which is similar to an iris, I suppose, will remain above the soil surface. I find that very important under glass, um, so I'm going to do exactly the same, growing them out here in the bog garden, keeping them proud of the compost. If you bury them under the compost, they rot very, very easily, especially in the winter in a glass house. So that's worth bearing in mind when you're potting up your saracenias, make sure the rhizomes are above the soil surface. This one we'll take out of its pot, it's in a really long pot and um, it would stick up too high in the bog garden so I'll remove some of the compost from the bottom here like this, pop it down in here like so, compost that round it. Yeah, 
that's an Oreo Florida, eh? Yeah? There's another one. That one. There. That's mine. That's another Oreo Florida one. What do you think? Put that one down here. Yeah. The same species. Oh, oh, that's yeah. This one is staying at the top. Where's it going there? Right at the end of the wood there. Here's a cross courtii, it's purpurea purpurea, cross with Saracenia citacina. These do very well outside. I'm going to pop this one down by this rock here. This is a form I've had for years. I originally got this one from Stan Lamp, as I remember, up in Birmingham. Yeah, that's a cracking plant. It does very, very well outside. Yeah, it's looking good already. It's just starting to put new traps out. Flowers are coming. Uh, one thing we did find with the RHS trial on up here on the nursery was that um, virtually everything that flowered set viable seed, which germinated really well. They just cross-pollinated themselves. So. It's like its own little ecosystem here and uh, they were producing seed and the seeds were germinating around the plant so it'll be a real point of interest later on in the year and we can't wait to see how they turn out and what seedlings come up I mean, there might be some real uh, cracking hybrids produced between all these plants here and one good thing we'll, we'll be able to know is that they are very hardy we find that anything that crosses out in the bog garden they usually find they're really really tough they grow very well outside so Looking forward to seeing what hybrids are. Right, here we've got a Darlingtonia californica. Now I will take this out of its pot because these tend to run around the bog. They've got stone arms out that run around. So this one will knock it out of its pot before we pop it in. So again, it's quite a, a wet part of the bog. It's a bit barren. Dig a bit of a hole. You can see how wet it is. No. See the stuff ones there, see these runners? See, they form plants and they run around the bog. They're fantastic for that. Right, let's sit it upright a bit. You'll find that this one hopefully will start to move around and put a nice display on. finished the garden for now uh, we've planted it up so far with Saracenia species and hybrids um, and now we're just going to see how they get on the only thing I would have done different I would have planted it up uh, probably a bit earlier in the season um, before the pictures start to emerge as I was saying earlier that some of the pictures are a bit soft and they could get blown around a bit but next year when they come up again growing out here in the bog garden they'll be a lot tougher and they'll stand up a lot better but the varieties we've got here are Cortii, Purpurea cross catspii, Pokii there, Flava, uh, Oreophila, Purpurea, they're already starting to catch flies. Um, and some of the ones which have got flower buds coming up on, on, on them, I'm sure they'll cross between themselves and produce their own seed and make their own little ecosystem here in the bog garden. But overall I'm really pleased with it and as the years go on it's just going to get better and better. But at the moment, yeah, we're all finished for now. So thanks for looking. And I'm sure you will have a go at making one yourself at some point. They really are good fun. And with this edge on the side here, you can sit down and just have a look at the plants. And I'm really enjoying it. It's been great fun.